Welcome back once again to Sean's Never Ending Adventure. This is episode three, and I do believe what we have in store for you in this episode is me being killed by a skeleton. No, um, please God, no. Um, actually, I do not die in these uh, first few segments, which is surprising because this is what we find right here um, a ravine. I don't actually explore it quite yet. I don't even know if I explore it in these first f uh, few episodes, but I will definitely explore it and other things <clears throat> come the episodes after this uh, first hour or so of footage. Um, I don't mean to keep reiterating... So, and I just tapped my mic, I apologize. I don't mean to keep reiterating a lot of this information, but... Um, I hope you are watching... If you're watching my videos, I hope you uh, can watch from episode one up you know, through the vi the episodes. The reason I do reiterate, um, in case you have actually watched from the beginning, is because sometimes people might not realize that, oh, this actually is a part of a series. I I might not have set up my series well enough, um, so if anybody has some pointers, um, feel free to um, leave, them in a com leave, leave them in a comment, personal message, however you want to go about it. Um, but yeah, this time I will definitely try to... Oh, um, here's... Uh, Here's me setting a waypoint. This is one of the features of the Ray's Rees um, mini-map. If someone can tell me how to pronounce that, that'd be great, too. Um, this is actually my first time using this mod, this mod, the mad. <laughs> it was me saying map and mod at the same time. Um, it's the first time using it in a single-player game. So, yeah, um, I think it's actually pretty useful. I would actually like to see some kind of uh, update where... Perhaps there's a craftable item in vanilla Minecraft. A craftable item that allows you to take notes. Text notes, obviously. But uh, I think it would be uh, really useful. And, you know, you could use the F3 function, the function 3 button. Um, and what it does is give you a, a list of uh, processes and pretty much everything that's going on in your Minecraft game. Um, as far as information being written, whatever. I mean, not everything, but... Gives chunk updates, X, Y, Z coordinates. Right here, you can hear a uh, 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 slime. I always want to call them fappers, and that's really inappropriate. But and I guess I went in and said it. But yeah, uh, anytime I hear that, I definitely try to look for it. That is a feature of this mini map. You can uh, actually have a red indicator of where slime spawn chunks are. I don't feel it's very legit. I use it on multiplayer a little bit. Um, Actually, no, I think I turned it off, but uh, anyway, I don't use it in single player. Um, yeah, um, back to the minimap, I think is what I was on, the subject I was on. Forgive me if I was not. Um, I, I do really enjoy this minimap. Uh, I hope to be able to, you know, showcase its features as I go. Um, but yeah, oh, the note, the note-taking uh, block. I think, I think it'd be nice, um, just something to think about. I think it'd be really easy to, I mean, it wouldn't, I don't, I can't assume it'd make, it'd take up too much space, um, and, and instead of maps where they have multiple maps you can craft, opening up new, uh, areas, I think it should just be one note, uh, book. I don't know, just, I, I, I don't have anything to extrapolate on that, but that's, that's what it is. Yeah, um, um, basically, I usually, sometimes I'm successful in this, there have been times I've searched and searched and searched, and I think... I think someone, I don't know, uh, that I found this as quickly as I did, and I love the uh, ambience music, and I, I think there's a uh, Enderman right there, yeah. I'll be honest, I, I've yet to legitimately in single player accidentally um, trigger their, their aggression. Oh, well, no, yeah, I, I can say that. Anytime I've, I've, I've fought them, it's been on purpose and I was ready. I prepared myself. I, I steeled myself. But yeah, um, pretty much just uh, trying to conserve some uh, torches. Picking some up. Um, placing them where I think they need to be placed. Getting the hell out of there. I should have uh, actually marked that with a waypoint. Now that I think about it. Um, in case you're interested in the mini map, it'll be in my description probably, inevitably. For this series, at least. Um, but to you set a waypoint, you simply, I mean, default, you can you can bind the keys to something else or to have a different key. Um, 
that function, um, the e <laughs> default function, you push C, brings up the um, menu you saw back. I'll probably put an annotation back there and maybe right here that takes you back there if you'd like to see it. Um, because it's magical YouTube bullshit. Um, sorry. Um, yeah, you push C, um, gives you that little, uh, waypoint menu, so to speak, um, allows you to choose the color of the waypoint, uh, move the waypoint, obviously, and then later on, you can go into the, uh, waypoints, um, setting through the actual M key, the, the menu for the mini-map, and you can highlight it, or unhighlight it, delete it, whatever you want to do, and here I'm getting attacked by a skeleton, really not wanting to die, don't have armor, I don't suggest doing it like this. I really should have went down here with some armor. Um, I think I'm on normal. I will probably increase it to hard once I get some armor on. I do I do enjoy playing on hard. Um, it gives me incentive to play more consciously. Consciously. However the hell you say that word. Um, I feel like I have to, always have to apologize for my speech. I do know I mumble to an extent. And I do know that I uh, speed talk and I... I tend to run words together sometimes, and I do apologize. If I am un if I am hard to understand, comment it. Tell me what to do differently. Uh, bitch at me, whatever you gotta do. Um, by all means, I'm making these videos for many different reasons, but I do want to entertain, and I by all means want to be understood. So, I mean, if, if you're fine not understanding me and you enjoy the gameplay, awesome. As long as you're enjoying yourself, I'm enjoying myself playing. I'm enjoying myself blabbing. I like to blab, even though I do, I must still admit, it's still a little bit awkward. Um, but yeah, here it is. I'm um, getting some iron. I, I feel it's, it's weird, because uh, I can blab about anything and everything, but it seems so mundane to blab about meaningless. I'm getting iron now. I'm getting coal now. Here I do, actually. I was going to attempt to get a damn record and uh, a record drop. And then the freaking one creeper had to ruin it all. Um, one of the things in this uh, texture pack that seemed like that was incredibly fast. That was awkward. Um, one thing about this this texture pack I really like, and all, some of the other HD texture packs feature this as well, though I have not experienced them myself. They give uh, diversity to the mobs. Uh, you saw two pink creepers there, but I believe you've seen green. I've seen other colors in my videos. Um, the skeleton you just, I just fought. Uh, did not have a helmet. I think that skeleton that I just ran away from, like a bitch. I think he did have a helmet. Won't be going back. Maybe? I don't know. That creeper is pink again, so... I'm having a hard time displaying this, uh... Getting the example. And this is an example of me kind of getting lost. Uh... I've had systems before, and they've worked, and... I don't know why I'm not using them. I've, you know, I've... I, I use them in the nether religiously, almost. When I'm uh, going to the nether looking for another fort, I will place a torch pointing the direction towards my nether uh, portal. Um, of course, in single player, you can make another portal and open up elsewhere inside the nether. In, in multiplayer, for the most part, um, at least the, mod, the, the servers I've hosted and played on, um, and I don't host them locally, but I own them, I rent them, whatever. Um, the nether portal only generates once within a world, whatever. I'm done talking about random shit. Here I am fighting the creeper and a skeleton. And again, I am trying to get the damn record, and I, I hit him once, once, tor once too many, and honestly, it wasn't a good time to do that anyway. This, this terrain is kind of too jagged and rough to, uh, rough to, uh, wow. Taking a drink there. Um, a little too rough to appropriately get him to shoot him. And skeletons, honestly, are buggers when it comes to that, because they do not want to shoot at the right time, and they do want to shoot at the wrong time. And of course, if you've mistakenly not hit them enough, then the creeper turns around and is pissed at the skeleton, and then here's where I actually lose my place. I just looked directly at the freaking stair, or the path, uh, that marker there. I, I am legitimately lost at this point. I'm going back, searching back and forth. I'm like, I see the three torches. Where in the world am I supposed to go? And I, I, I do this for probably 30 seconds to a minute. I'm looking back and forth, looking back and forth. I looked at the path once again. 
looking up here like, is it here? No, no, no. Pretty sure I just came here. Definition of insanity. Definitely not that way because I haven't lit the torches yet. Here I take care of the water. This is the way I take care of water. Um, if I don't have a pail, I go ahead and block it off and mark it with the torch. So that later I can open it up and get it with a pail. Um, man. This is this is pretty funny to watch. I knew I knew I did this, but I did mention this earlier in the video, I think, or maybe it was the last video. Maybe it was the first video that I they say I was gonna get lost. Um, after I placed them. But uh yeah. Hopefully this uh hopefully I can find my way here in a second. Um and I am trying not to overuse the mini map. I'm trying to use it only when when necessary, but Ah, I found it. Glorious day, glorious day, and I mark Mark it once again. It's it's so. If if you're playing the moment, I, I don't think. I mean, I obviously feel like an idiot, but I think it's excusable to an extent. Um, I don't know how long I want to make this episode. Um, we have quite a bit of more, quite a bit more footage left. Uh, I might end it at maybe sixteen. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see where a good point is to end. Um, this is episode 3, um, again, and episode 4 will be next, for those who know how to count. <laughs> but yeah, as I, as I believe, as I thought I, I think I said earlier, I, I assumed I would have a, a full stack of iron when I left that cavern, and I did. I think the first agenda on uh, episode 5, I guess it'll be, um, which I have not actually played in the club yet, so, uh, yippee doo looks something to look forward to. Um... I'll be need to make some armor. Here I'm clearing out a little spot for some furnaces. I usually like to make a freaking wall of furnaces, honestly, because of all the things I like to smelt. By no means do I have a designator, designated um, furnace for food and whatever. I mean, sometimes I do. Um, sometimes I have a chest right next to a furnace, and the chest is chest on either side, one raw material, food, one uh, cooked food. And I am a little bit OCD, so I try to make things a little bit of neat, a little bit of uniform, however I can. Um, something I do want to talk about, uh, I was just playing it, I had a lot of fun with it. I don't, I, I obviously I don't, as many people do and don't do, some people do, and I, I'm, I'm part of the uh, statistic that does not read all of the uh, user agreements. But I've been recently uh, playing a beta for um, console beta. I hope to get it on PC. I probably will buy it on PC. Mushroom, by the way, mushroom stew. Get that shit because it, I, I'm not sure exactly how many um, hunger bars it fills up, but quite a bit. I think it's one of the most filling meals in Minecraft. Um, anyway, uh, Gotham City Heroes. Or God, well, Gotham City Heroes. Damn it. Gotham City Imposters. Um, very entertaining game. Uh, I just reached the, the max level in the beta, or just 25. Now get this, the max level in the full version is 1,000. Yeah, 1,000. I am very interested to see... I'm really hoping the uh, some of the unlockables I had available to me are just... I, I think they are just the tip of the iceberg. Um, once again, I do not know what I am actually legally allowed to say. I mean, it's not like they're going to sue me, but they might request this video be pulled, or at least the audio. So I will try to refrain from giving too many details, but it is it is a lot of fun. Um, if I had to compare it to something, I don't like to compare games to other games, for the most part. I do think it's silly, but uh, if I had to, I would say uh, Team Fortress, basically with some Gotham City thrown in. And it's not, it's not like it's that carbon copy of Team Fortress at all. It is its own game, but that is definitely the uh, feeling you get. It's a lot of fun. Um, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to go into too many details. Um, what I will go into details is my Minecraft gameplay, which I said I would talk about. Here I'm basically making um, a walkway to my, uh, what, is, what will soon be a home. Um, not even a home. This is basically just a room for me to sleep in. Um, a rest area, if you will. I, I, my intention was to actually get a rest area and then stop recording to give myself an end, uh, end, end spot but uh, as it was it didn't happen that way 
and I'm making some uh, fences to, first of all, place some torches like this. I think I go ahead and, uh, I use fences quite a bit in all kinds of construction. I like to use them in uh, constructing houses, different parts of it, um, give a little bit of uh, flavor. Also, I like to use stairs. Um, and I'll probably turn this part of the video down for me right now. It's really loud, so I want to make, her, make sure you can hear my voice um, when I'm talking. Unless, of course, you don't hear my voice, and I'm going over that. If you don't want to hear my voice at this, at this time, I don't know what to tell you. Just turn me down. <coughs> um, yeah, one of the things I like to use is uh, stairs to uh, make my walls and stuff like that. Um, eventually, you'll see it. You don't see it any time in these first four episodes. I'll probably uh, go ahead and stop it uh, shortly um, as I'm clearing this out. Hopefully, that'll give... The next episode, a good, uh, good stopping point. I might actually have to have five episodes, so the sixth episode might be the the brand new recordings. Um, these were all recorded about almost a week ago now. Um, uh, uh, nearly. I'm not sure, really. But uh, let's see if uh, let's see if there's any better, or worse stopping point. I guess once I dump all these items, I'll go ahead and stop the recording. And I um, hope you're entertained, and see you next time. Hang on, let's see what I do first. <laughs> oh yes, I make a clock. I think that's a good uh, stopping point. I've got a clock now. And some nuggets. Do I have apples? I don't think I have apples. Find out next time to find out if Sean finds apples. <laughs>